tabloids in Gotham continue their love fest with Jeremy Lin. Today, you see the Daily News. Mellow, I heart Jeremy. And then the post, Valentine's gift. Look at Amari. <laughs> this is great. Uh, speaking of Amari, the much-anticipated return of Sotomayor expected to happen tonight in Toronto. The Knicks star missed the majority of the Jeremy Lin madness last week as he was in Florida with his family following the abrupt death of his brother. Since Lin's been inserted in the lineup, the Knicks are 4-0. I try not to read too much of the newspaper, um, but you know when when we go to the garden and we play and, and the fans are out come out in full force. I mean that makes everyone excited and we, we feed off their energy and it's uh, it's awesome to play in the garden right now. It's crazy. I mean everywhere you go is, is you know Lynn 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 Lynn. I'm I'm actually enjoying it. My son you know uh, told me tell Lynn what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Icon of overnight, you know. Um, but there's just something about New York, man, where these players who are about to get cut end up being a sensation. It's a lot right now, but uh, I think I'm getting used to it a little more, and um, obviously spending as much time with my family and you know um, them constantly giving me advice and keeping me grounded and, and uh, you know helping me with the whole transition. I like Lynn Sanity. You know, because that's, that's, that's what it is right now. It's, it's really madness right now around around New York. And, and it's, been, it's been out of control with, with him and what he's doing. And it's very well received because he's a humble, humble guy. And he loves to play the game. You know, the game before the Laker game, I was in the back getting treatment, working out. And he came in there and uh, they, they had him on ESPN. And he was like, can y'all turn that off, please? <laughs> <laughs> like, look, man, you, you can't, you know, you can't. Some things you can't control, and this is something that you can't control. And you know you're doing a great job. You deserve it. Um, we, we we just want to keep it rolling. At the end, when you remember teams and you, when you look back on seasons, what you really remember is uh, your teammates and the moments that you went through with your team. You don't remember anything else but the relationships that you built and the games that you fought through, the adversity that you fought through to win. And that's what we're doing right now. We're enjoying it as a team, and we're we're um, making strides.